the wind's coming from the opposite Good morning, there. friends. We are sailing, which is something we haven't been able to do very much since we left the Florida Keys. So we are super excited to be sailing today. We've got a good wind. We've got a good breeze. No motor. It's nice and quiet. We're so excited. But we have ended our mission to Maine, and we've began a mission to sail the Chesapeake. So Matt's going to tell you a little more about that. All right, kiddo, you're doing good. So yeah, we've canceled our mission to Maine. It's just, we've tried, we've tried, we've tried, and you can't fight Mother Nature. It's too late in the season. It's time to call it off. That's going to have to be a mission for another sailing season. We figured we're right here. We're in the Chesapeake. It's the best time of year to cruise the Chesapeake. Why not <laughs> just sail the Chesapeake? Uh, I'm not going to call it a new mission because I don't want to call off another mission, but I'd say we're on a mission to sail the Chesapeake. And so, why don't you enjoy some sailing with us uh, this morning. Excited. We've got a great helmsman today with our sails out. She's taking care of us and um, it's going to be a great day. Trim that baby in a bit. Look at her steer the boat. <laughs> She's the captain of this vessel. This is Hospital Point. It's where we spent the night, and it's where we start our journey, sailing the James River. The James River was home to the first permanent English colony at Jamestown in 1607, and it's where the indigenous people lived in Virginia over 16,000 years before the English colonists arrived. The first time we sailed off the anchor was a little bit stressful, but we were able to do it. So, but we didn't record it. So, we're going to sell off the anchor again today. It's our second time. We're feeling a little more confident. We want to share it with you. So, here we go. We're going to weigh the anchor, but we're going to do it under sail. Look at that. If you listen carefully, there's no motor. Second time doing it. We'll see what happens. She's going to inch us forward, and I'm going to winch it in. All right, so she's moved us up a foot or two. I think I can pull it in. And she's gonna slowly sail us this way. And when she tacks over, it's gonna be slack. I can pull that in. We're heading that way, the wind's coming from there. Sailing off the anchor requires no engine. You simply tack back and forth, back and forth, allowing the wind Pull the slack up out of the chain. Starboard tack, the wind's on our starboard side. The chain's over here, we're gonna sail that way now. This is good. This is good. The chain's starting to get behind us. When she tacks, it's gonna be slack. We'll pull all that in. Look at us moving forward. We're doing good right now. Hey, Olivia. Olivia. Will you close these hatches here? These front two? Thank you. And that is how you sail off the anchor. Or at least that's how we learned how to do it. <laughs> if you have any tips on how to do that, please let us know. So there'll be more. This is the Chesapeake Bay, and this is where we're at. Today we're traveling 37 miles up the James River to Jamestown, Virginia. But first, we're battling 20 knots of wind on the nose in Hampton Roads. So Matt had 
to make some drastic turns and. <laughs> That's all we did. <laughs> so, which is code for some Hold maneuvers. On. That's a weather reporter in the making. Drastic turns. <laughs> it felt drastic. I'm holding on for dear life. Now, there was some crab pots, like a whole bunch of them over here on to our port. And so he adjusted the sails and made a few maneuvers to get us around. We'll get better at uh, sailing and videoing. It's difficult when you have the crab pots to pick up a camera and do the trimming and the turning. But we'll get better at that so we can catch some of that footage of getting around that. I got a gust coming right here. So we had a little bit of an obstacle. We have this barge that's coming and we have this tunnel we have to fit through. So that problem is <laughs> we're at a good point of sail. We have to time the tack so that we can get behind the barge. He's gonna be in front of us. We don't want to be in front of him. And the tack back upwind and then back through the the opening here. I'll show you on the map. But uh, just timing that and watching for crab pots. It's kind of a, a test the skills area. It's really cool. You have what it takes? I have more than what it takes to. <laughs> that barge out of the way. Let me get this set up. All right, you ready? We're trying to turn us over. Here we go. I don't think we have enough speed, but... And irons! Come on, baby! Come on over! Oh, we're in, we're stuck. There we go. All right, pull that main in. Really good there. How did that go? It was good. It was a little sloppy. A little yeah. sloppy. Yeah. I mean, that's real sailing. That's real sailing, you know. We didn't have enough power, and now we do. We got to get through this tunnel. That was the, uh, the squeeze zone. We have to close haul it through there. But we got plenty of wind to do that. I pulled in a little bit of Genoa just to keep it a simple sail. I need to trim it though. Timing also is we got the bridges here, goes underwater. So we're running out of space. So we're gonna get some more space. Jack. Ready. Okie dokie, Helms the Louis. That was really good there. Nice. Practice, slow time. Feels good, feels good now. We get past this little uh, tunnel bridge. I'm foreseeing a lot of white caps out there, so it could be a little gusty. I'd like to get at a good, comfortable sail angle.
good. We actually set up straight right there. We're good. We're uh, so I, you can't see it in the GoPro very well, but we got tree line there, open bay back there. So we're starting to get behind the cover of those trees. They're about three miles away. Here's the Navy ship over here. Well, let's go see what the ladies are doing down below. I've got autopilot on, and I don't think, I don't think we have anything ahead of us. We're in a fish trap area. There's pots and things. We got the motor on. The dinner was tucked in. Eh, there's a little bit out, but uh, definitely gets narrow right up here. And we're going to be doing a complete S turn in the river, which is just hard to sail that. <laughs> you know, with any efficiency. So we got the motor on, about to go down. Let me go check, let's see what they're doing. like nap time. Looks like I'm the one that didn't get the memo here. But it's beautiful out here. Nice sailing. Good weather. We're about four hours, three hours from the anchors. Just one big kind of U-turn we have to do. S back. That's really cool here. Um, I'm checking my DC to DC charger. And this is, uh, since we have the motor on right now, this is the way that we charge the lithium bank, which is our house bank. We're in bulk charge. And we're putting out 13.5 volts. That is 23 amps. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, we don't have a large solar array. We have 150 watts, but it's putting 5.5 amps into the battery bank. And that's about what's coming out to run the chart plotter and autopilot. We saw that the DC to DC charger puts out, where what, 25 amps it was? Uh, high voltage, lithium batteries just absorb that, just suck it right in. So it's really hard for us to drain the battery bank. Yeah. Oh, is he talented like me, you say? He's better than you because he did it longer but for a while, so yeah, that's why. Is that recording? Yep. You know what I appreciate about our channel is that pretty much everybody who engages um, in the comments is positive. We don't have any of that, any of that hater business. I appreciate that, you know? <laughs> I don't get why people on YouTube just they get behind a keyboard and they forget they're talking to humans in a public forum. And they make fools of themselves arguing over a video that someone publishes either for free or just for donations. It's not even a paid subscription. It's not like HBO. You you know, I appreciate you, you and the channel, and keeping it on the up and up. Cool. I will eat my jalapeno chips and shut up. We made it to Jamestown Island. We had great wind the whole time trying to get here, and we are about 20 minutes away from the anchorage that we picked out, and we're looking forward to a great evening on anchor. It's crazy and a bit inspiring to think that this exact waterway was traveled by humans just like us over 15,000 years ago. They traveled the James River finding food for their family, relocating their tribe, and simply looking for a place 
to go ashore. I hope you enjoyed this episode.